Hello, my name is Beatrice Simões and I'm here today to talk to you about how does the grouping of students in persistent, heterogeneous or homogeneous learning teams affect student gameplay according to their ability level, a study with pre-service teachers in teaching badminton. Here is the agenda for the presentation. There has been a progressive renewal of the curriculum in physical education to keep up with the demands of society, as well as the education of the physical education students in the 21st century. In some curriculums, it is already mandatory to teach physical education through model-based practice, such as game-based approach, including tactical games, and sports education focused in students' approaches that are pedagogical approaches to achieve the holistic outcomes of physical education. These approaches rely on peer teaching, knowledge sharing and collaborative learning. It is known that the way learning teams are grouped, mixed ability or grouping ability, can have an influence on the outcome. Some studies in invasion games in learning through these approaches have shown gains. Others say that grouping students into similar skill levels increases the opportunities for success for lower skill level students. It seems that in general there is an evolution with the use of sports education, but the performance is affected by gender and skill level condition. Sports education and tactical games have been hybridized in various sports, but there is a lack of research in net playing. For example, badminton, which is a popular sport in the curriculum and therefore deserves a particular attention. Furthermore, there are no studies with pre-service teachers in analyzing the performance. Even though the focus is on the professional development of the pre-service teacher, it is still about the student learning. The more learning they generate, the more we can legitimate the use of the schools to train our teachers. Therefore, this study aims to understand if a hybrid teaching unit of tactical games model and sport education makes an improvement in students' game involvement and performance when taught by pre-service teachers and grouped in different learning conditions. The participants were four pre-service teachers, three males and one female, who participated together with their respective 68 students, 38 females and 30 males, from four 10th grade classes, one per each pre-service teachers. Two classes were randomly allocated to each condition, mixed ability or grouping ability. And there were two moments of assessment, a pre-test and a post-test, where the students play the game in each moment with an average of 11 minutes. They were observed by their involvement in the game, related to the number of times they touched a shuttlecock, and by their performance, which is related to the scoring of the respective zone of the field. Here, I'm going to show the first big picture, still with short specificity and with simple static measures, but is part of the project to explore the results from a statistical point of view in the future. Here, we see the difference in game involvement in interaction with time played and the performance, both on them in the two conditions of grouping and the students all together, from pre-test to post-test. As we can see, there was an improvement in game involvement in both groups, and this calculation took into consideration the active playing time in order to normalize the scores. Although in performance there was an overall improvement, the grouping ability conditions had no implications on this data. The field was divided into three zones with different scores. The zone 1 refers to the middle of the field, the zone 2 is near the end, and the zone 3 is the bottom of the field, each one getting the score referring to its name. Zone 1 gives 1 point, zone 2 gives 2 points, and zone 3 gives 3 points. We already observed an increase in game involvement and game performance, and as expected, a significant difference in target zones, with a significant increase in the zone with the highest score. When we observe the difference while considering gender and skill level, we can see girls with low skill level, despite the evolution in both conditions, benefit in mixed ability groups. 
Dire skilled boys, despite the post tests showing no improvement, present higher score in both conditions than the higher skilled girls. And these girls present better results in grouping ability. In this graphic, we can see the most used area considering gender and skill level. As we have already observed, the Zone 3 had a significant increase in all groups in both conditions, except for higher skilled girls. Despite the limitations, we can believe that dec the decrease in the request of Zone 1 and the increase in Zone 3 may be a positive indicator of the evolution of the tactical learning of the game. Here we have the main results of the study. As we have seen before, lower skilled girls in mixed ability classes have higher scores than lower skilled girls in same ability classes. And higher skilled boys show higher scores than the other groups. But uh, overall, we can conclude that the mixed ability condition benefits the gameplay of lower skilled boys and girls, while the condition is irrelevant for higher skilled students. This study has some limitations. Um, we need to explore the results from a statistical point of view. And in the future, there is the possibility of exploring the game involvement and game performance related to the gaming conditions. Uh, same skill level or uh, a different skill level. We have already been able to observe that higher skill level versus higher skill level games the same ability classes show the highest score in both assessment moments. When we talk about higher skill versus lower skill or lower skill versus lower skill games, pre-test and post-test scores were higher in the mixed ability classes. As positive uh, and uh, differentiating aspects is the fact that it is a study with pre-service teachers and high school students who may be considered more involved regarding the motor domain compared to young age students.